Okay, so uh, back to the layout. Um, I've decided to do some experimentation. As you remember, in my layout, I've got this river running through it, gorge actually. And um, I've cut it out of XPS foam using a hot knife. I like the way it turned out. Um, I'm still obviously finishing the rest of the layout, but cut this upper part a little wider. But where I've been stuck at is which way I want to go with um, filling it in. Um, doing some what some people do, which is filling it with the, the resins and stuff, uh, with the tiers that I have. I'm not sure that I understand how well that's going to work out. And once you go that route, I think you're fully committed with the hardening of it and everything. Again, take whatever advice anybody wants to post online. Um, but a little nervous. I want it to look good. So I cut me. Uh, sorry for that pan. I went ahead and grabbed four two inch foam barrel or foam sections and I'm cutting out riverbeds just like I did. Obviously, they're shallower, but you know, nonetheless, fairly close. Um, the contours are all a little bit different, but roughly the same. I'm going to just try a bunch of different methods on these sample pieces. Um, first one, I guess, is probably more of a traditional. I'm going to use plaster cloth and I'm going to line the bottom of it uh, with the plaster cloth and uh, see how that hardens up and how that looks uh, in anticipation of having to do something else to put the water in later. Same thing with the sculpta foam or the sculpta stuff, sculpta mold. Um, I'm going to grab it, except it's going to allow me to mold and maybe do a little bit different things here. Um, and then uh, it was Martin of Sweden. Um, he uses toilet paper. Um, uses toilet paper and glue and um, lines it and to get that effect on the bottom. So I might try that uh, on this one. And then lastly, I'm going to use uh, this new product, a big foam mo, and I'm going to mold it in and see what it ends up looking like. Now this step is only going to give me um, the bottom of the riverbed, so it'll give me an idea of what it would look like if I went with each of these. Um, so you know, I'll let you guys follow me on my journey and let me see how I do or how I screw these up. Either way, you'll probably learn something. I'll catch you guys later.